Antarctica, centered around the South Pole, is the southernmost continent in the world and almost completely covered by ice. No people live here except a few scientists. It's far too cold and the winters are far too long. But the start of the short summer brings life to Antarctica and the wildlife becomes surprisingly active with a number of different animals enjoying a few months of milder weather and sunshine. Most common are the seals and the penguin. The penguin is a flightless bird that lives only in the southern hemisphere. It is well suited to life and water. In fact, underwater it can swim as fast as any seal. It has webbed toes and its wings look more like flippers. The Adelie penguin, seen here, returns to Antarctica in October when the sea is still frozen and often returns to the same nest year after year. Penguins live in large colonies, sometimes counting several hundred adult birds, protecting each other and preparing for the next generation. This one is carrying a stone to use for its nest. Maybe it's not very comfortable, but they have to make the best of the material that is available. And its mate does not appear to mind too much. The Adelie penguin normally lays one to two eggs, and the male and the female take it in turn to keep them warm, so they can hatch. So when one bird is on the nest, the other one is away feeding at sea. Well, there's always room for a little improvement. The milder weather also affects the ice, and great lumps break off and become icebergs. These floating pieces of ice are called pack ice and provide fine protection for the penguins from predators such as, for example, the leopard seal. They're also handy as rafts to use as bases for gathering food. The temperature in Antarctica, even in summer, rarely reaches more than one to two degrees centigrade. But even then, the penguins need to cool down. So to combine the practical with the enjoyable, they slide across the ice on their stomachs. The Weddell seal is comfortable in or out of water and is one of the most placid of the Antarctic seals. The Adelie penguin's chicks appear four to five months after the eggs were laid. They are grey with fluffy down that can't protect them from the freezing Arctic water. Now that they're hatched, the care for them is still shared between the male and the female. Whereas amongst the seals, this task is left purely to the female, who here demonstrates a bit of dental hygiene, though the youngster doesn't appear to be vastly interested. Here is another typical Antarctic seal, the crab eater seal. A surprising name as it doesn't actually eat crabs, but mainly feeds on krill, which are tiny prawn-like animals that live in vast numbers in the polar seas. These skewer birds are scavengers that help to keep the environment free from disease, disposing of dead animals. It is hardly surprising that these penguins are called chinstrap penguins. Just look at them. The chinstrap penguin does not breed as far south as the Adelie, 
but here on the northernmost tip of Antarctica, they can both be found. Their behavior is similar to the Adeli. We can see that they also carry on with the same ritual head waving. This is a sign of friendship and good intentions, like our handshake or smile. The chinstrap penguin breeds later than the Adeli, but the chicks must still manage to grow up before the short summer is over and the winter arrives. Another reason why it is important that the work of feeding them is shared between the male and the female. These sheaf bill birds are a bit of a bother for the penguins, as they will eat practically anything. But they are still accepted and are living right in the midst of the tolerant penguins. The fur seal also arrives from the north, but earlier than, for example, the Adeli, as it takes up residence in late September. The pups are born in late November and early December, and they, as we can see here, stay in shallow pools of water for protection. Fur seals are not true seals, as they are descendants of bear-like animals, they move differently with their bodies in an almost upright position and they are quick and active and can move very fast indeed. growing stronger and it won't be long before they can leave the rookery and go to sea with the adults and they are trying out adult behavior growing up also means that they develop adult plumage and are able to withstand the elements It is not uncommon that different species of penguins live together in peace and without hostilities, but then they are after all sorts of cousins. The macaroni penguins here are the most colourful of the smaller species, with their very distinctive yellow head feathers. In this large group of Adeli and Chinstrap penguins are just four macaroni who live their own quite separate lives. But they also come back to the same place year after year. As we mentioned earlier, the penguins are extremely well suited for life in the water. They have a very efficient swimming technique, not unlike a dolphin. And their streamlined bodies help them build up speed. In fact, they can reach up to 15 to 20 miles per hour and can stay underwater for quite a long time. They eat fish, crustaceans and squid, although the younger birds also feed on plankton, which is plentiful near the coast at this time of the year and which helps the chicks to grow more quickly, thus making life easier.